y'all it's thrifty tiffany and i am back with another bake with me slash cook with me we're making from scratch homemade chicken pot pie we're gonna make the dough everything so we're gonna get to that but if you haven't yet definitely check out the video before this which is my homemade chocolate chunk pumpkin bread so we're on like a fall vibe right now it's sunday and this is gonna be sunday dinner so definitely check out both videos and my recent grocery hauls but we're gonna get started, here we go. So usually when making dough, you need to start with things that are very, very cold. So the butter needs to be cold, the eggs need to be cold, the milk needs to be cold. So we're gonna start with the dough, we're gonna do two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of cold butter milk, one cup of cold butter, and half a tablespoon of cold water. That's it, it's gonna be very simple. So I'll go ahead and start with putting the flour in here two and a half cups and y'all let me know do y'all love baking during this time of year because I absolutely love it but I love chicken pot pie now this is not how this is not the kind I was raised on but I love making it from scratch y'all half need one tablespoon of sugar then we need one teaspoon of salt and I'm just gonna one cup of cold buttermilk, but first we're gonna add in the cold butter. I'm gonna do one, cause one cup is two of these. I'm gonna do one salted, one unsalted, just to give it some flavor. So just cut these up, let me show you. And then you want to like work it in the dough and the last that you add is the buttermilk. Cause you wanna keep this kind of like really ice cold. And I have the milk in the freezer getting really cold. So I'm gonna cut this in half. The stick oh that was definitely not right and then cut in little cubes work it with our hands into the dough you could even cut it one more time to be smaller like squares <laughs> just looks like that and now you're just gonna literally take your hands and like squeeze the butter into the flour. You just work it, oh, work it in there. It should be nice and cold. Since the butter is so cold, I'm gonna, I tried it with this to break up the butter a little bit. This butter is really cold. You can also use one of these, a potato smasher, but they also make this thing, it's like got wires like this, perfect, and you go in like this. I don't have it, but that would work perfect. Now we're gonna add our cup of buttermilk. Pour a cup, you gotta get a whole cup of buttermilk. Then we'll mix it in really nicely. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody help me. <laughs> I'll make it work. And change out to a spatula and start making the dough. See the dough sticky. Yo, I don't know what I'm thinking. Football needs to be on. I need to go turn football on in a second. It's on a movie channel right now. And I'm about to do this, and I'm going to sit this in the refrigerator and let it keep cool until I need to roll it out for the pie crust. For the uh, pie pie. What the dough should look like is you should still see the chunks of butter in there. And then we're going to let it sit. And we'll roll that out. I have about two pounds of chicken. I will not use all of this chicken. You only need three cups. But I got these packs of chicken breasts from Trader Joe's. There were three chicken breasts in here, y'all, for $3.89. Three huge chicken breasts. So all together have six breasts in there. And this packet was $4.07. But for a pound of chicken for $3.89, oh, I'm going back, y'all. I am going back. And yes, we are going to season this. We are. Headed to the air fryer right now to season. All right, y'all, we're gonna season our chicken breast. And again, we're not using all of this. I'll use it as food prep if Cayman wants some chicken breast, but we'll use several pieces to make three cups worth. So I'm gonna spray it first with avocado oil. You can use whatever oil you want. And you can season it however you want. You don't wanna get too many different seasoned flavor flavors in here because again, it's chicken pot pie. So add in some onion powder to it then we're gonna add some crushed red pepper because I like a little kick and some ground mustard if I had dried thyme 
I would use it because I'm using time in the recipe, but I don't have any. So we'll just use the time in the recipe. And we'll put it in the air fryer. 390 uh, for 20 minutes, we'll start with. All right, y'all. I pulled the chicken out. The chicken is done. I gotta chop that up. Now I'm doing all my chopping. I'm not gonna record it all because it's just tedious work. Chopped up the onion, chopped up the garlic, chopping up the carrots, chopping up the celery. Then we have our peas and corn. So once I finish this, I will be back. Got the oven on 400. We're gonna put this pan right here on medium because we're gonna saute the veggies. You need some unsalted butter. I'm also gonna add a little bit of avocado oil so we can cook those. We're gonna get that started. And again, I will have the recipe linked in the description box. Some onions, celery, carrots. Well, this is what it's looking like. Definitely smell like fall. We got garlic, onions, carrots, and celery. And then we're gonna season it in just a little bit. I'm gonna put the lid on so this can saute really well. Just added some Mediterranean sea salt. Already added that. Now we're gonna add some pepper. Next is some parsley. And I had a good bit of that. What it's looking like. Now we're gonna add some thyme. This is the thyme that I'm using from Trader Joe's and you just pull the little sprigs off. Add it to the mixture. Looks so good, y'all, and this whole house smells so good. Next, we're gonna add the super sweet cut white corn. I'm not measuring, I'm just adding. Then some petite peas. I love peas, y'all. Peas are like the best part. Now we're gonna mix in one third cup of flour because we're gonna make like the roux, the thickening of the sauce, and then we're gonna add the heavy cream in here. We're gonna mix, mix this up, no lumps. All right, now we're adding the heavy cream and another heavy cream because I added more veggies than the recipe called for, so I'm adding another heavy cream. These are small. These are little bitty containers. Chop the chicken up. Now we're gonna add our chopped chicken breast. how good this is look how thick that looks so good do y'all see all the flavors i just want y'all to see this is him waiting for him some yeah him wants him some chicken pot pie your ears flipped over him want fella bobella him wants some chicken pot pie y'all that looks amazing i just tasted it perfection the carrots are a little crunchy just a little bit but when it bakes it'll get a little more tender so good all right, flour your work surface. For your pie, you're gonna make two separate, one for bottom, one for the top. Cut it in half, I got my rolling pin. I'm gonna do roll out half for the bottom, half for the top. I just sprayed the bottom of the pan. I just want y'all to see, see those butter chunks? That's what you want in your pie crust. That is exactly what you want. Y'all, my phone is about to be a hot mess trying to film at the same time. Now I'm gonna lay it on the bottom. Sorry, y'all had to sneeze. I'm gonna lay it on the bottom of this pan. And you're just gonna work your way all around the pan and smush it to the sides, all up the sides, the whole bottom. And then we're gonna put that mixture in here, y'all. Start adding it all into the pie crust. I left no crumbs behind. I fit it all in here. Oh, and now to do the top layer. And then we're gonna bake it. I'm so excited, y'all. There it is, y'all. You can make it fancy. I just put it together. You can put a little design on top. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna pop it in the oven on. 400 and lord i need to clean this mess up y'all i'm always forgetting a step make you an egg wash with just the egg and then brush it also it did clearly say put some slits in the top so i did that as well look how she is rising oh she is a beauty and i'm so excited it's not done yet just pulled it out the oven it is done she is done i will serve it up in a minute all right y'all i'm gonna cut it open with this just so y'all can see the inside. Look at that crust, y'all. Oh, I gotta go all the way down because there's a bottom crust. All right, let me scoop it in the pan and get the spoon and then I'll show you. All right, y'all, here we go. We're gonna scoop it up. Forgot it had the crust on the bottom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the first piece is always so hard to get. Let's scoop it like this. Oh my goodness. Look at that, y'all. Oh, look at that chicken pot pie. Look at that. And this is what the inside looks. Y'all, look how thick it is. She looks good. 